Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God to join together this man and this woman. It seems good love's finally on my side. She we desire that you live a life of joy and loving one another. Whispers my name, tells the sun to rise. That the joy in your life may yeah, just be full life. and whole and well. Something I admire greatly about the two of you is that you both know what you want and you go for it. You support each other and love each other and are honest with each other, sometimes brutally honest. It's quite comical. But as long as you continue to challenge and inspire each other, I believe your souls will not stop growing. Oh, look how beautiful. That's so pretty. You can receive this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Andrew and I have been best friends for a really long time. I think you know, you guys are going to be great together. Megan, mm, you did it. No, Andrew's a great guy. Andrew's a great guy. And, uh, you know, I just want to wish you guys a long life of health and happiness. I want to leave it at this. Marriage, you get to annoy one special person for the rest of your life. Megan, God bless you. Andrew, receive this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. A loving partner is a safe shelter. Whoever finds one has found a rare treasure. A loving partner is something beyond price. There is no measuring their worth. A loving partner is a life-saving remedy, and those who respect their Lord find true love. For as a person is, so is their loved one. Megan, I am so excited this day is finally here. If you are one third as excited as I am, I know you will be thrilled. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. You are so sweet that it could give me a toothache. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Megan, you are the greatest thing to ever happen to me. I love you with all my heart. I can't wait till this great journey takes off. Just remember, always flap your wings. Love you always, Andrew. Andrew, I can't believe today is finally here, eight years in the making. I know I don't tell you enough, but I love you very, very much. You push me and challenge me and give me a love I didn't know I needed. You have changed my life for the better. I'm so excited to see what our life together holds. I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle. Love you always, Megan. Today, Andrew and Megan have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. The gold represents God and His majesty. The navy, the navy strand represents the groom and his life. The maroon strand represents the bride and her life. In braiding these three strands together, 
Andrew and Megan have demonstrated that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. I'm honored to say that I was present the night these two lovebirds met. In the distance. It was one of our typical nights at Mountain Valley. We were just sipping our drinks, minding our own business, and then through the crowd comes Andrew, <laughs> all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> His goal was to win Megan's heart right then and there. He beelined it right for her. Far from all the crowd, Andrew, being the passionate and determined fellow that he is, true to form, turned to me and said, I'm going to marry her one day. You know, there's that saying, you know when you know, and Andrew knew right in that moment. And here we are, so many years later, the day Andrew predicted. Love each other. Love each other. All of you love each other. So that is a command for us all this day. All of us will endeavor to love each other. And the example, of course, Jesus said, as I have loved you. When John tells us of Christ in the upper room, he says Jesus showed them how he would love them to the very end. It's a complete, it's a fulfilling, it's a strong love. It's a love that finishes well. I, Andrew, take you, Megan, to be my wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward. I, Megan, take you, Andrew, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death us do part. To love and to cherish to death through us part. I pledge you my love and devotion. I pledge you my love and devotion. We have people here from California tonight, people here from North Carolina, Florida, all over, all over the country. It means a lot to Megan and I, as we've built our relationship over the past eight years, that all of you have had a part in that in some form or fashion, and it means a great deal to us that you are here uh, with us tonight, and I hope everybody has a great time. We are extraordinary grateful that you guys are, are here to celebrate with us tonight. Thank you. May you always feel as close as you do this day. May your lives be graced with good health. May you always find happiness in your home and may it be refuge for the storms of life. May your love grow ever stronger as you share your lives together and may your future be even more wonderful than you dreamed possible. You have declared your consent and vows before God in this congregation. God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace.